is so exciting. Hey, that looks good. the fire truck ringing its bell. Ah. It's going to put out the fire at the burning ah. hockey sticks. I was going to play. I was going to play. Alice, Alice, no. Now, now, Aloysius. Oh, Mom, she has her own toys. I know she does, but you can share yours too, can't you? Oh, I suppose so. Okay, Alice, you can play with me, but please, be very, very careful. I got everything all set up here Yay, just Alice, right. I uh, Alice, Alice, be, be careful. I said, Alice, 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 careful. Alice, 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 Alice. Oh, dear. Oh. Knew it. Mom, this always happens when she plays with me. Sister, she loves to play with me, but I wish I didn't have to play with her till she turns three. Mom says she never means to knock things down or break a toy, but when I look at my sister, I'm trying to think, oh boy, Alice, look what you've done. Sister, my mom says she's a joy, but how can I agree after she breaks my favorite toy? My mom says that she's young and this won't happen in a year, but meanwhile I see my sister and kind of think, oh. like Prince Firstly did. Who? Prince Firstly, the son of King Goodheart and Queen Quinella. Didn't I ever read you this story? Nope. Story? Alice wants story. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Tell you what. You two clean up this mess, and I'll go find the book and read you their story. Mm. Clean up the All mess. Right. <laughs> okay. Where did I put that book? You get that Let's stuff see, back uh, there, Alice. <laughs> Well, here's the book. Hmm, Prince Firstly's Little Surprise. Yes, that's the name of the story, and here's how it goes. Once upon a time, in a kingdom not too far away, there lived a little prince named Firstly. Firstly, had no brothers or sisters, like you two do. And everyone in the palace always had time to play with him and read him stories. Until one day...
What is it? A penguin? A puppy? A... Hey, that was my old crib and, and my baby carriage and my old bassinet. What is this new critter that's coming to live here, huh, Lord Elmo? Uh, well, 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 my dear Prince Firstly, uh, Lord Elmo would love to give you the big, wonderful, exciting news. Yes, uh, yes. But Lord Elmo has the feeling that Prince Firstly's mommy and daddy will, will, want, will want to tell Prince Firstly themselves. Just at that very moment, Prince Firstly's mommy and daddy came in. Make way for King Goodheart and Queen Quinella. Come, my dear. Easy now. Easy now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mom, oh, Dad, what? so who is it that's coming to live with us here? It's going to be a, a new baby, dear. A new baby, dear? Oh, oh yeah, 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 of course. Uh, your new little brother or sister. Yeah. Really? Yes. And where is it coming from? The royal pet shop? Oh, mm. oh no. No, it's coming from right here. Oh, yes. There? Yes. Well, tell it to come already. Come on, baby. What are you waiting for? Come on. Oh, well, you see. Firstly, Mommy has to go to the hospital first. That's right, sweetheart. I'm going to go have the baby at Mount Fairytale General Hospital, <laughs> where I had you. Then as soon as the baby's born, Daddy will come and get you and bring you there. That's yeah. right, son. Yeah, but, what, what, what? Oh, yeah, but, well, oh, I do believe. It's time to go. Oh, See you later. Oh, make way. Make way. Thank you. But, 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 I'm not so sure I'm going to like this, having a new baby stuff. Oh, it's going to be great, Prince Firstly. Wait and see. You know, maybe Prince Firstly should talk to Katie and Stevie about it. Who? Katie and Stevie, the kids who live in the red brick house down the palace road. Their mommy's getting ready to have a baby, too. Can you feel the baby kick? He's kicking my hand. He was kicking your hand. Oh, isn't that exciting, Katie? Katie, you're going to be a big sister, aren't you? Yeah. What name should we give the baby if it's a sister? It's a girl. Lynn. That's a nice name. Stevie, what do you think? What do you want? A sister? Boy. You want a boy. boy. What will you name it? Baby Michael Stevie. Michael, Michael Stevie. Stevie. Can you show me how you will hold the baby? Yeah. Is there a special way to hold it? Yeah. That's right. That's a perfect way to hold the baby. <laughs> Mommy's got to go to the hospital. Yeah. 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 I love you. You too. I love okay. you. I love you too, Katie. Oh, my big girl. I love you. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Mommy, be my baby dad. Okay. You guys come and visit us at the hospital, okay? Come and be our new baby. Okay, put the tape on so the hat will stay on. Okay. One more piece? Yeah. Oh, right up there. Very good. Yeah. Nice job. Mommy's gonna love this card, Katie. Say, I'm a big sister. That's right, you're a big sister. We'll put it right in the middle of that heart. Good job. You wanna go see the new baby? Yeah. Wanna go see mommy? Okay. Yeah, he loves you. And so, Queen Quinella's new baby was born. And Prince Firstly went to the hospital to meet his new baby... Brother? Sister. Sister! <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. It was a baby girl who was named Princess Azalea. Mm. And finally, the day arrived for Queen Quinella and King Goodheart to take the new baby home. My, she's a cutie tootie. Oh, yes. Cutie tootie? I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> oh, firstly, where's first my lady. first lady? Firstly. Here I am. Oh. <laughs> Tootie cutie. Oop. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 
you doing with that funny hat, dear? Oh, it's my dragon taming hat. I'm gonna teach Azalea how to play dragon tamer. Son, I believe Azalea is still too little to play things like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Well, what can she do then? Oh, not too much just yet, dear. Little by little, we'll have to teach her things. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. She sure learned how to cry real fast. Oh, dear. She must be hungry. Oh, yes. Ooh, that's the royal baby bottle. I'll get it. I got it. My sweet, come along, uh, little one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 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 oh, but thank uh, you. you. Uh, so cute. Uh, Lord Elmo, would uh, you like to play dragon tamer with me? Oh, oh, well, Lord Elmo would love to, Prince Firstly, but but Lord Elmo has to go fetch the royal baby blanket. Oh, coming! But I got it. I got the bottle. I got the bottle. Would, would you I guys like it. to play dragon tamer with me? Oh. Someplace. Ah, the nursery. <laughs> I knew it all. Come in, my dear. Here it is. <laughs> Firstly, what are you doing in there? Well, it's my crib, isn't it? I got to use it first, didn't I? Oh yes, dear. But you're a little big for it now, though, aren't you? And you have a nice big bed. Besides, aren't you happy to pass down your old crib to your new baby sister? I'd rather pass it down to a new puppy or a kitten or a baby orangutan. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Dear. Oh, yes. Come here, you. <laughs> Firstly, I know sometimes it's not easy to get used to a new baby. But uh, something tells me before long you'll be very glad she's here. Hmm. That's what happened with me when my sister Princess Posey was born. Hmm. That's what happened to Lillian's big sister, too. Who? Yeah. Lillian. Oh, didn't we ever tell you about Lillian? Never. Well, <laughs> hell then, listen to this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lillian, and I'm also a big sister. I didn't always think being a big sister was so great. Like the time my little sister took my best doll, and when I took it back, she cried. Then my dad came in and said I should share. And I was angry. I was really mad. So I shouted and stamped my feet, and I felt a little better. But then my dad came back and gave me a big hug and a kiss, and told me he was proud of the way I shared. So I guess being a big sister isn't so bad after all. Let's see, where were we? Um, ah, yes. The next few days didn't get any easier for Firstly. As soon as news about the baby got around, everyone in the kingdom wanted to meet the little princess and bring her their very best wishes. <gasps> oh, um, um, it's announcing the royal fairy godmother! Greetings and salutations! and rhinoceros hide. May you always have beautiful pumpkins to ride. Thank you. Oh, uh, the royal cat! Ha-ha, <laughs> yes, it is I. <laughs> yes, may you always have things that really count in life, like friends, so you can count them. One friend, two friends, three friends. <laughs> Always have lots and lots of cookies and little cookie crumbs too. attention his new sister was getting because he felt he wasn't getting any so he decided there was just one thing to do start acting naughty first he went and put 
put a bone on the royal throne. Yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> Helpers get very upset with Prince Firstly. Lord Elmo is going to start calling your highness your naughtiness. <laughs> now get out! Shoot! 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 Seeing how he gotten everybody upset made Firstly feel even worse. I feel even worse. Nobody wants me. He thought. Nobody wants me. Then. He decided to go where nobody would find him. I'm going where nobody will find me yet. No, it's this way. Are you in the hole? Oh, oh that hurts. Where oh. will my first lead be? Don't worry, my love. I will find him. Oh. I know. I'll look in the royal backyard. <laughs> oh. And Lord Elmo shall look oh, in the royal pumpkin garage. Yeah. Good and okay. I shall look in the royal ping pong room. Hey, I want you to look in the royal ping pong room. Oh, no, I get the ping pong I get room. The ping no, pong. no, no. Queen Quinella wasn't sure where she should look until she remembered a secret hiding place King Goodheart once told her about. It had been his favorite spot when he was a little boy. Firstly, we've been looking everywhere for you. Why? What do you mean, why? We couldn't find you. We got so worried. You did? Well, you, you missed me? Well, of course we missed you, sweetheart. Why do you think we wouldn't? Because all you seem to care about now is Princess Azalea. Oh, you silly Billy, come here. Oh, you know, mommies have enough love to go around for all their children. Oh, it's just that sometimes they show it in different ways. And sometimes one child may need more attention than the other ones, like when they're sick or when they're very little, like Azalea.
must say, this part of the story always gets to me. Well, well don't stop now. What happens next? Well, let's see. Queen Quinella helped Prince Firstly realize how much everyone in the palace loved him. So Firstly decided to come down from the tower and visit his little sister. All right. Say, Papa. Papa. Uh, King Papa, that is. That's close enough. You're getting it, my dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, <geez>. Papa. <laughs> Firstly's going to help us give Azalea a bottle, aren't you, dear? Oh, I guess so. Brilliant idea. Splendid. Come, my son. I'll teach you how to hold her. All right. Uh, up. Oh, be, be careful. Comes. Oh, very good. Oh, you are very good at this. I am? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh. Here, now just hold the bottle up to her. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Whoa, she's hungry. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can see it already. In no time, you'll know everything there is to know about babies. I will? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you could tell me something that I don't know yet. Oh, what's that, dear? Uh, what do you do when one gets you wet? Because I think that's what Azalea has done to me. Oh, my. Well, babies will do that, you know. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 I remember when that happened to me one time. Mom, Dad! What is it, son? Uh, uh, Azalea is staring at me. Oh, look at that! Oh, what is it with her now? Well, she's probably just admiring her big brother. You know, firstly, being a big brother or sister is a very special thing. Yes. No matter how old Azalea gets, she'll always look up to you and think of you in a very special way. That's certainly what Tony and Tasha and Carlos found out. Oh, yes. Yes. Who? Mm -hmm. uh, Tony and Tasha and Carlos. Oh, don't tell me we didn't tell you about them either. No, you haven't. You never told me about any of those kids. Why, not one of them. Well, then you are in for a treat. <laughs> Well, my mama had a baby, and that baby's here to stay. Someday our baby may be finally big enough to play. For now I'm fetching diapers, for now I'm helping out. I help feed him and I wipe him when that food comes flying out. And it's me who knows how, cause I'm the big one now. I hug him and I squeeze him and I help him learn to talk. I try hard not to tease her while she's learning how to walk. I help to read him stories. I help pick up his toys. I teach her to play peekaboo and I teach her to make noise. And it's me who knows how, cause I'm the big one now. I love my little sister, the sharing and caring. I love to choose the teeny little clothes that she's wearing. I love my little brother, there ain't nothing to it. Well, sometimes it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Well, my mama brought a baby home to join our family. And together every day we're all as happy as can be. That baby's gotten bigger, that kid is really fun. And I'm so proud that I'm allowed to be the grown-up one. It's me who knows how, cause I'm the big one now. Yes, it's me who knows how, cause I'm the big one now. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> A royal visitor! The royal fairy godmother! <laughs> hello, hello, and salutations! <laughs> Ooh. Hello. hello, godmother! 
Mummy! Mummy! Isaiah, Isaiah, looks like somebody else here to see you. Oh, no, no, my dear child. I've come to see you. Me? That's right. When I came to see your sister the other day to give her a wish, I forgot to give you your wish. My wish? I always give big brothers and sisters a wish, too. Quinella, remember when your sister Posy was born? You wished for earplugs so that you could put them in whenever she made too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, Prince Firstly, what is your wish? Oh, gee, I wish... I, I wish Azalea and me will always be brother and sister and will love each other lots and lots. Oh, well, I believe that wish has already been granted. So guess what? You get to make another wish. I do? Mm-hmm. Gee, then I wish for a pet dragon. Oh. Eye of Newt and Iguana Tail's wagon. Give Prince Firstly a little pet dragon. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, wait a minute, And so, everyone in the castle lived happily ever after. The dragon, too? <laughs> yes, the dragon, too. Hey, where's she going now? Alice, dear, what are you doing? Oh, look, Aloysius. She's bringing you her favorite doll. Mm. Alice broke your toy. Alice bring you her toy. Wow. Oh. Gee, thanks, Alice. That's really nice. Oh. You know what? We can both play with this toy. <laughs> hey, Mom, you are right. She is kind of cute. <sighs> That's what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> oh. I have a little sister. She's cute as you can be. And I am her big brother, which means she looks up to me. So we'll have fun together. Yes, it's gonna be okay. Cause I am her big brother. I'll teach her how to play. You're my little sister, and am I glad? You bet! Hey, Alice, come on, let's go play! Yeah, play, play! Uh, but Alice, watch out for my... Oh, no! Oh. Oh. It's okay, Alice, don't worry. at www.sesamestreet.com. 
Look for these great products from Sesame Street. Guess what Elmo's talking about today? Give up? Now you can find out whenever you want when you visit Elmo's World with a special collection of 50-minute videos on VHS only from Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. Elmo is so happy to see you. Join your favorite furry red three-year-old, his goldfish Dorothy, and friend Mr. Noodle in Elmo's World as they check out dancing, music, and books. Elmo will show you. You'll be surprised how much there is to know about the fun-filled worlds of babies, dogs, and life on the farm. Where can Elmo learn more? Elmo and his pals will show you all about singing, drawing, and telephones whenever you come to visit. Think you know everything about flowers, bananas, and hair? You'll think again when you hear what Elmo has to say. Go on with you. <laughs> Make Elmo's world a part of your world with these special videos now on VHS, only from Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. What's on the menu at Sesame Street Home Video? Peruse that, sir! It's Let's Eat, Funny Food Songs, one of the tastiest titles ever. Grover's on the job at Planet Storybook Restaurant, where he serves up seven spicy sing-along treats with a little help from his Sesame Street friends. I said I taste it, I'll give it a whirl, and now I am a cereal girl. Dig in and you'll be singing the praises of eating delicious, nutritious dishes, too. Let's Eat from Sesame Street Home Video. Bon appetit! It's Elmo Palooza! Elmo Palooza, a song packed video, CD, and cassette with everybody's favorite monster of ceremonies and an all star cast of friends. Zig, 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 zig. I love to do the mumbo. I nearly missed the rainbow. Music, laughter, and Sesame Street fun for the whole family. Elmo Palooza. Buy it now on video, CD, and cassette from Sony Wonder. Woo! What's your favorite song? Bob Bob Black Sheep is my favorite song. <laughs> Next to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the Alphabet song. <laughs> what am I going to do? You don't need to choose with kids' favorite songs. New on home video from Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. It's a countdown of nine all-time favorites that's sure to hit a high note with everyone in your family. Row, 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 row your, your boat. boat. I've been working on the rail. sing-along treats with you wherever you go with kids' favorite songs on CD and cassette. I've got it! I know what my favorite song is! With the best love tunes on kids' favorite songs, you'll always have something to sing about. Listen to this! Strike up the band and shake up the fun with a Let's Make Music video featuring all new Sesame Street adventures <laughs> and the unforgettable magic of Stomp. There's music everywhere! Get the video today! Get ready to take a trip to Grouchland with Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. First, check out the adventures of Elmo and Grouchland Sing and Play, new on home video. It's a trashy, tuneful treat with nine Sesame Street songs, including three from Elmo's new movie, The Adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. Plus, it's got bonus footage, an episode of the hugely popular Sesame Street segment, Elmo's World, which has never been available on video before. Then, there's the Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland soundtrack on CD and cassette, featuring performances by Vanessa Williams and Tatiana Ali. Plus, as an extra treat, Elmo also personally recounts all of his Grouchland adventures. Once you've been to Grouchland, you'll never want to come back, so stay a little longer with the Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland Sing and Play on home video and the movie soundtrack. For down and dirty fun, Sesame Street style. Ready to party? Then come on down to Sesame Street, where Maria, Gabby, Elmo, and Rosita are having a fiesta. New on video cassette. There's lots of laughter, learning, and music in both English and Spanish, with special guest stars Celia Cruz and Linda Ronstadt joining in the fun. I love carnival. There's also fiesta songs on CD and audio cassette, featuring songs from the video and more, so you can take this party with you everywhere. Let the carnival. Only from Sony Wonder, wherever children's videos, CDs, cassettes, and book and tape sets are sold.